Hello, today I'm going to go over the general look and feel of SCS Share and give you an overview of the website. So this is the home page of SCS Share. As you can see we have the top navigation bar on top that will always remain on top as we scroll up and down the page. We have the login form, the mini login form on top and we have a language select drop down. Down here we also have a login form, quick links, some information and descriptions about the site and our different product lines. Supported browsers are also listed here. Now going back to the top we have the create new account tab where we can create a new account forgot password tab where we can retrieve a forgotten password contact information and our YouTube instruction videos tab now let's go back to the home page and let's log in so once we log in it launches us directly to the site dashboard or site overview page. On the top right corner you see these three buttons here. The first one gives you a quick description of all the measurement units throughout the site. So you can, if you see a measurement unit somewhere you're not sure what it is or what it means you can open this pop-up and it will describe it for you. Then we have the Add Access Point button and the Refresh button. Down here we have the Site drop-down. Right now we only have one site, but it's possible to have several sites under one account. So you, this is where you would find a list of sites and you can switch between them. And here we have the devices under the currently selected site. For each device, you can click on the Information pop-up and it gives you very useful information about that device at a glance. Then we have the device status. If you hover over it, it will show you what it means, but you can get additional information by clicking on the question mark icon, which opens up the description of each device status. Then we have the attributes of the device listed. Here you can see the description for each type of device that we have. So an access point device is a device that has a direct connection to our server. For example, a device that has a cell modem or a Wi-Fi adapter or a direct Ethernet connection. Then we have gateway devices, devices that act as in-between devices. They link up an access point to a network device. And then we have network devices, devices that indirectly connect to our server through an access point or gateway or a combination of the two. Then you have the shortcuts. Here you can quickly and easily access some of the mostly used functions of each device. And then you can delete the device or edit the name and description of it here. Now let's click on a device and see where it takes us. So this will take us directly to device dashboard page. Here we have a way to get back to Site Dashboard right away if we need to by clicking the Site Dashboard button on top. We also have the Measurement Units button here and the Refresh button top right corner. We can quickly switch from site to site or from device to device. We can also search for a specific device. By typing in the name it will find it uh, in the list. So if you have a list of hundreds of devices you can quickly find the device you're looking for. Then we get to the widgets and they're the dashboard. So here you can manage your widgets meaning you can hide or show specific wid widgets and by doing that you can see exactly what you're looking for and reduce the noise. So I just set the sensor status to be hidden, but current activity widget is still visible to me and I can see it. 
and in addition to that I can also reprioritize or move my widgets so I can move this widget over here and I can move quick links over here and give it a very custom look if I wanted to. Then we also have the site navigation menu. This menu gives you quick access to any section of the site. You can quickly go to your zone settings, device settings, reports, or account setup. So quick way to get anywhere on the site.